Hi, and welcome to Filled in Five, where we take a quick look at an aspect of the spiritual life. Love is the heart of spiritual growth. Last week, we discussed how love of self is the starting point for love of others and of our higher power. If we do not have love and gratitude for ourselves, we will tend to view God as a judge or as one whom we continue to disappoint. Our view of others will be skeptical and suspicious. Learning to love, forgive, and give thanks for ourselves opens us up to genuinely receiving God's love and then sharing that love with others. Make sure you check out that video on the importance of self-love and spiritual growth. Developing our love for others then encompasses not only our ability to love others, but also our ability to receive love from others without skepticism. Growing spiritually through cultivating love for others involves practicing compassion, empathy, and kindness for others. Here's how to foster those skills. The first, of course, is self-compassion, which we already discussed. The next skill is sorely needed, the ability to actively listen. Active listening not only means being focused on what another person is saying to us, but also being fully present to them, not thinking about our response, but rather absorbing what they're saying to understand it more deeply. Focus on what they say to you without judgment or interruption. Ask them a follow-up question. Again, not for the purpose of refuting them or for forming your own response, solely for the purpose to understand them and their point of view more completely. So many of our issues with one another, I think would fade away if we took the time to listen for understanding. It removes our assumptions and our miscommunications. Do you have someone in your life who listens to you this way? I hope so. These people are treasures. Keep them close. The next two grow out of the practices you began last week with learning to love yourself. They are gratitude and forgiveness. Learning to forgive oneself is the single biggest action we can take to grow spiritually and emotionally. Once we learn to do that, we better understand that when others hurt our feelings, it's almost always about them and their struggles, not about us at all. Forgiveness is a spiritual skill that rapidly, dramatically changes ourselves and our relationships. And finally, a gratitude practice places our focus on all that we receive and that blesses us. Express gratitude for others' presence, support, and contributions to you, and share that with them. Tell them about how much they mean to you and how they impact your life for good. How great do you feel when someone expresses to you how much you mean to them? Develop a habit of doing this, and it will enhance your relationships and strengthen the bonds of love that you share. Love is the heart of the spiritual life. That's the filled life. I want it for you. I'm Melissa Ebkin, and I'm the pastor of the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches. I pray your life is filled with light, life, and love.